Hi everybody, it's Jean and I am back with some Halloween fun in my glue book. I had a wonderful um, package from Grandma Allison and so I thought, well, I'll just, instead of doing an unboxing, I will use her items, mostly her items, on these pages. And I started off with this really fun cellophane bag which I've never thought to use the cellophane bags as a background but I opened it up and I loved how it looked uh, as you can see it was a little difficult to get it on there exactly right but I managed and um, I, you know I'm not one to mind wrinkles I have wrinkles in my backgrounds all the time especially with napkins I actually like having wrinkles in the napkins. Uh, if they're too smooth, it looks too pat, too perfect. I like mine with the wrinkles and all the fun texture that that offers. So um, so I was, I was perfectly happy with this. As you can see, you can still see the lines of the notebook through there, but it just kind of adds another little layer of um, texture there. So I was very, very happy with that, and I was really tickled to have more than one bag. I may do another full page, or I may keep that bag for storage. Uh, but anyway, I really, really like that bag. Oh, and I also have um, a grandson coming to pick up Halloween treats, so um, they may go in that bag. <laughs> you just never know. I never know what I'm going to do with anything. So... Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I just I had fun with that. I loved um, I loved how the page turned out. I love the background, and it was just perfect. Now this uh, big old cat I cut out from a paper that uh, Lynn sent, and uh, it turned out it was just just perfect. It needed a busy background. So um, so anyway, I was really happy. This is a nice busy background. And I have lots to put on here. This uh, little uh, picture of witches is just my favorite. I love it. It's so cool. And when I was out driving around, I actually saw a life-size huddle of witches just like that. Maybe you'd call it a coven of witches. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, as a decorative uh, decoration on someone's lawn. And uh, so that will probably go in my video of that particular drive. It was such a beautiful drive and I saw uh, so many beautiful things. But anyway, um, back to this. Um, I, just, um, I just had fun with all of her little goodies and, and uh, played around and... Uh, put things on just how I like them. I like to work at my own pace. And um, so I generally work at night. For some reason, I feel a lot more relaxed at night. She sent uh, a lot of magazine images. And I thought, you know, I very seldom do a full page of collage. So I did a double spread full page of collage with these images and um, most people will set them all up to see what fits and what doesn't and work it all out ahead of time <laughs> I'm uh, I'm just way out there I I thought I would try to do that but it's just too hard to keep everything straight glue it in at the at the right time I don't know why I don't know why that's difficult for me that's just crazy it shouldn't even be difficult but my way of doing things is throwing things on and then just seeing what fits as I go and so that's that's how <laughs> that's how I did it and um, sometimes it's just funny to, to see what I choose when I look back on it I think hmm that seems like an odd choice of course um, looking back on a lot of things I do, <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised 
at my choices. <laughs> but anyway, it's nice because all of the images were sent by the same person. And I just, um, I just really like it. I think she said her grandchildren picked out a lot of the images. So that was really fun. These are all from magazines and catalogs. So, um, well, that one there is a particular favorite now. And unfortunately, it has that big glare, but eventually you'll see it. And it's a cat with a witch's hat. I believe it's a witch's hat. I, um, but anyway, I really, really like that image. <laughs> um, but I like all the images. I like all the images, especially images with the moon, like um, up in the corner. Um, I think I've got a couple images on this page with... Um, with a decorated moon. I love moon things. Um, but yeah, these, these are really, really cute. And it, uh, there's, there we go. There's another moon one. It's a witch and, uh, just as cute as it can be. Cute as it can be. I just love it. So I had fun. I had fun putting this all together and then, um, Oh, especially playing with this hat. I was determined that this hat was going to fit on this lady. And it's obviously too small. But I I don't know. I'm just, um, I'm just stubborn that way. I tried putting that on and I thought, well, that would be cute. And it might have worked if I had played around with it a little bit and worked with it. But no, no, I wanted the hat. I wanted the hat on her head. She is a witch through and through. So... I thought it's the brim that's too small, so let's just let's just draw in a bigger brim. And it, especially if you outline it, it sh stands out more on the page. It shows up better. So um, so there. <laughs> if it doesn't work as is, alter it, fix it, make it work. That's my philosophy. Um, I love that particular pen. That's one that I picked up when I was in Tampa. And it just is, uh, it just has uh, nice ink in it. It always flows smoothly. And, um, oh, I got it at that art store now. The name escapes me, of course. As soon as I started talking about it, I knew I wasn't going to remember the name of that store. <laughs> but I have a video of it. It was last January. Or February and uh, you can go back and take a look if you need to see the um, the brand name and so forth uh, I might even be able to link it um, I was going to try and cut out all these little um, bats to fill in this area and I thought well hey why why not just draw them in it's uh, it's actually easier <laughs> than trying to cut out these tiny little bats so so that was that was fun and I like how it turned out. It's just um uh it's it's just easy. Um it would have been um nicer I think on a dark blue background. I'll have to check and see if um uh but uh, you know what I'm pretending? I'm pretending there's a big giant white moon behind there. <laughs> <laughs> and those bats are up against the moon, just like the one is that's dangling from the witch's hat. Okay, onward to the next page. Um, we're we're down here to this. Uh, this is the third page in the um, in the Halloween book that I did with um, with Grandma Allison's Happy Mail, and uh, I put this on, and wouldn't you know, all the <laughs> All the really fun words are upside down. But I didn't see that until afterwards, until after I started gluing, and I didn't really pay attention. I wasn't noticing. Um, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. And um, if anybody asks me, I'll say I did that on purpose because I like books to be interactive, and you need to turn the book upside down to read it. But I covered up most of the words. I loved this striped paper. I loved the colors. I loved everything about it. And I thought I would use it in one big piece, but as it turned out, this is just perfect right here uh, as a border. So um, so I did that, and of course now that there's two pieces there, there's a line, so you have to do something to 
hide that line and look at there she had sent these cute ghosties and that was perfect just hid that line and that's how collage works that's how junk journals work all the little flaws everything that uh, deters most people can be just covered up and or featured <laughs> so uh, this is what makes my book fun for me, um, especially when I look back on it. Um, isn't that cute, that little doggy? <laughs> I love that the little ghost dog. Um, anyway, uh, this was a fun page. I loved everything on it. I uh, just had such fun working in this book um, and working on these pages. I really appreciate um, the Happy Mail just filled with um, just all this fun stuff to play with. And that's what I do. I just play. Just have such a good time with it. So it's just been uh, beautiful weather up until the last couple days. Uh, Sunday was the last really nice day. Monday, Tuesday, and then today uh, have been very overcast and rainy. Really, truly fall weather. And uh, I just, um, I revel in all that. I, I like going out and not having to fight the, the brilliant sunshine. Sometimes um, I never used to wear uh, sunglasses, but now I have to. It's just it's too, too bright on my eyes sometimes. So, um, so I enjoy the overcast days a lot more than I did years ago when I lived here in Ohio, which used to really bother me. Um, this is just fun. I, um, I loved that, that ribbon and, um, I put, that's this stone that my son picked up when hiking. Somebody painted it and left it out and he found it and brought it home for me to see. And of course, since I never got rid of it, he never brought me any more. He hikes all the time and he sees them all the time, but he doesn't bring them home. But um, I love that stone. That stone is great for weighting down things while, they, while the glue dries, making sure it adheres really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a frog in my throat today. So, um, <clears throat> so anyway, there it is. That's the page. And, um, you know, I wanted to fit other things on, and I may, I may add to the page. These pages are never all done. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.